all right guys so now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually create an alias but for mac okay so let's say you are in a mac computer what you want to do is you want to go to your home directory okay press clear and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say ls dash a okay it might not look exactly how i have it unless you uh, upgraded your your terminal or you're using iterm2 how i am right but if you're using your regular terminal it's still going to show up all of your files okay so then now what we want to do is we want to look for a file called a dot bash profile so we're gonna say like this nano uh, let's say dot bash underscore profile okay go inside of there and then in here we're going to put in our aliases here we're gonna say alias Python equals to Python 3 okay same thing here we're gonna say alias python or sorry say pip equals to pip3 okay then now we're going to press control o and then press enter okay and then we're going to say control x okay so now we created that file now if you do have your terminal upgraded and you're using something like uh, Z, uh, ZSH, right? If you guys did upgrade your, your terminal, right? Uh, what you want to do is you want to open up this file. Okay, so now we're going to say nano.zshrc, I believe, yeah. Click enter. Okay, and there you go. And then you scroll all the way to the bottom. Keep going down on your keyboard. Keep pressing down okay and then at the bottom i want you guys to add this lines alias python uh, python equals to python 3 alias pip 3 equal, equals to pip or you know this is supposed to be uh the opposite it's supposed to be uh alias pip equals to pip 3 okay so then now we're gonna press Control o okay click enter then we're going to click control X. Okay. And then now we're going to clear this. We're going to close our terminal. We're going to open it up again. And then now we're going to check uh, the version of Python. So we're going to say Python. And then we're going to say dash capital V and it should say Python 3.7.3 .3, or whatever 3.7 something, right? It should just be any number higher than 3.7 because in the future, you guys might be on a higher version of Python and that's fine. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to check pip. So we're going to say pip dash capital V. Okay. And there you go. As long as you see that it says something like 3.7 and up, then that means you're good to go. Okay, so clear this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.